Prime Minister says that tackling the loss of children's learning is the single biggest priority for the government, with a long-term plan due to be outlined later this month. But how can children catch up after all the school they've missed over the past year? Our education editor, Branwyn Jeffries, has been speaking to Sir Kevin Collins, who's just been appointed to advise the Prime Minister on a recovery plan. At home in Leicester, Najim is trying not to fall behind. GCSEs are looming next year. Research today shows pupils in years 10 and 11 have lost most confidence. Najim has tutoring paid for from government catch-up funds. I am a bit worried, to be honest, um, because of lockdown and especially that I think that now that just reduces my education a bit. But because of tuition, that boosts my confidence up that I might do, um, I will do good. I will do good if, if I carry on with this tuition. His dad says the short-term help is welcome as far as it goes. It's very important because if they're not confident, especially now in, in an exam and in GCC, um, that will affect, that will affect his uh, morale. To help them catch up, nothing is yet ruled out. Longer days, shorter summer holidays. The Prime Minister has a new education catch-up advisor. When he spoke to me exclusively, he said decisions were needed soon. This is the time to listen, but to act quite quickly around things like summer and summer schools, for example, uh, which I do think have promise. Children's mental health has been one of the big concerns. Do you think they're going to be able to step up and do extra hours of learning? I think we need to think about the extra hours, um, not only for learning, but for children to be together, to play, to engage in competitive sport, for music, for drama. So far, the catch-up efforts have focused on this year and next. But the effects of this pandemic could flow through schools for many years to come from the youngest children who've missed out on development to those who've lost confidence or interest in learning, leading some to call for a much bigger, bolder vision covering the next five to ten years. Asking teachers to work more hours would not be popular and would face union pushback. Schools want a say in deciding what works. To have that added on, to have any extras being forced onto the school rather than us choosing what we want and, and the things we think will help our particular cohort is it would not be helpful and actually being able to give students a, a sort of suite of activities and a suite of different ideas that they could do. Just try and define for you what a call Teachers is. have got so used to live streaming out. lessons but it's when everyone's back in the classroom that the real journey to catch up can begin. Brownwyn Jeffries, BBC News, Leicester.